Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon the 1978 TV series Different Strokes? Perhaps it was during a late night channel surf, or maybe you caught a glimpse of the iconic intro with the two adorable brothers, Arnold and Willis, standing side by side. That moment, whether it made you burst into laughter or simply left you with a warm feeling, is etched in the memories of many. As you reflect on your own initial encounter with the show, it's a reminder of the timeless charm that different strokes brought into our lives. Now, as we step back into the world of this beloved sitcom, let's uncover some random facts that add depth to our appreciation. From the dynamic duo of Gary Coleman and Todd Bridges to the wise butler, Mr. Drummond, and the ever-endearing catchphrases, there's a lot more to this show than meets the eye. So, join us as we take a trip down memory lane and explore the fascinating trivia that surrounds different strokes. In 1978, the TV series Different Strokes burst onto the small screen, bringing laughter and life lessons to households across America. While I don't have enough information about the planned updating of The Little Rascals or its connection to Gary Coleman, I can share some insights about the show and its young star's struggles. Different strokes came into being after Conrad Bain, known for his role on Maud, was promised his own show by the production company. Around the same time, a young Gary Coleman was also signed to the company. When the idea of updating the Little Rascals was abandoned, they decided to pair the two and craft a suitable premise for a new show. The series followed the lives of Arnold and Willis Jackson, two African-American brothers from Harlem who are adopted by wealthy white businessman Philip Drummond after their mother, Drummond's housekeeper, passes away. The show revolved around the cultural and social differences between the two worlds the boys straddled, often delivering poignant messages about race, class, and family. However, behind the laughter and life lessons, there was a sad reality for Gary Coleman. Despite his fame and success, his parents reportedly mismanaged his earnings, leaving him with little money. Coleman later sued his parents, but by then, they had little to offer. He found himself working as a security guard in his later years, a far cry from the bright lights of Hollywood. Additionally, the show faced backlash from some viewers. The biracial sitcom family openly displayed physical affection, which angered racists who sent hate mail to the cast. This hateful response highlighted the challenges of promoting diversity and inclusion on television during that era. Different Strokes remains a significant part of television history, not only for its humor but also for the real-life struggles of its young star, Gary Coleman. It serves as a reminder that the world of showbiz can be tough, especially for child actors. In 1978, the TV series Different Strokes hit the small screen and quickly became a hit. It was one of the few successful shows on NBC, which was struggling at the time. This success led to a spin-off series, The Facts of Life. Charlotte Ray, who played Mrs. Garrett, was chosen to star in the new series because of her experience and the belief that she wasn't central to the success of Different Strokes. One interesting aspect of the show was the character Stuart the Gooch, Arnold Jackson's schoolyard bully. Although frequently referenced and spoken of, the Gooch was never actually seen in any episodes. However, in at least one episode, the Gooch's voice was heard over the telephone. Another noteworthy fact is that Mary Ann Mobley played a significant role in the series. She first portrayed Arnold's teacher, Ms. Osborne, who dated Mr. Drummond in the second season. Later, she replaced Dixie Carter as Maggie Drummond towards the end of the series. These facts shed light on the success and quirks of Different Strokes, a show that left its mark on television history. In the 1978 TV series Different Strokes, several familiar faces from other Norman Lear productions made guest appearances. Conrad Bain, who played Mr. Drummond, had previously appeared in Maud. Charlotte Ray, who portrayed Mrs. Garrett, had a role in All in the Family, and Gary Coleman, who played Arnold, had a stint on Good Times. Sanford and Sun stars Whitman Mayo and La Wanda Page also made appearances on the show. Janet Jackson, who portrayed Willis' girlfriend Charlene Dupree, had a role on Good Times as Penny Woods, and Kim Fields, who made an appearance on Good Times, appeared on Different Strokes as Tootie Ramsey. Additionally, Conrad Bain, who played Mr. Drummond, had a twin brother named Bonar Bain. They had acted together on shows like Maud, 
and Bonnar even appeared as one of Mr. Drummond's Dutch relatives on different strokes. In an interesting twist, Mary Ann Mobley replaced Dixie Carter as Maggie Drummond during the final season. What's intriguing is that Mobley had been a runner-up for the role during the initial casting of the character. These connections among the cast and the crossover appearances from other Norman Lear productions added a unique dimension to the show, making different strokes even more memorable for fans of classic television. In 1978, the TV series Different Strokes hit the small screen, becoming a notable show of its time. While exploring the show's history, it's intriguing to note that Todd Lickenland, known for his role as Bobby Brady in the 72nd sitcom The Brady Bunch, made an appearance in the 1981 episode titled The Team of Different Strokes. Interestingly, Lickenland had previously starred in an episode about a blended, multiracial family called Kelly's Kids, positioning it to be the first multiracial sitcom on TV. However, ABC did not pick it up. It's a twist of fate that Todd Bridges, another actor from Different Strokes, later starred in the first sitcom about a multiracial family, Fish, which lasted for only two seasons. Gary Coleman, the iconic star of Different Strokes, sat out of the team episode, likely due to contract negotiation purposes. To fill this gap, the writers brought in Kim Fields, who played Tootie on another popular show, The Facts of Life, to essentially take his place in that particular episode. Remarkably, both Different Strokes and The Facts of Life were Norman Lear productions, but for some reason, Lear chose not to put his name on the credits. Instead, he opted for the credit tandem productions, adding a layer of intrigue to these beloved shows. These interesting connections and behind-the-scenes decisions shed light on the intricate web of relationships and production choices that shaped the landscape of television in the late 70 seconds and early 80 seconds. Different strokes played a significant role in paving the way for other shows featuring multiracial families, such as Gimme a Break, Hill Street Blues, and A New Kind of Family. In the world of television, where contracts, creative decisions, and industry dynamics often steer the course of a show, these anecdotes offer a glimpse into the fascinating history of different strokes and the era it represented. As we bid adieu to the world of different strokes, we invite you to take a moment to delve into your own unique connection with this timeless 1978 TV series. Just as the show's characters, Arnold and Willis, navigated the challenges of life with humor and heart, we all have our own personal stories entwined with this iconic sitcom. Perhaps you recall the laughter it brought into your home on cozy Friday nights, or maybe it sparked conversations that left lasting impressions. Did the unforgettable catchphrases and life lessons of Mr. Drummond leave a mark on your own journey? Did the humor and camaraderie of the cast resonate with your own experiences? Now, it's your time to shine. We invite you to share your cherished memories, your thoughts, and the moments that made different strokes a part of your life. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of this show's legacy. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us and for sharing your personal connection to different strokes. Your stories are what make this series truly special, and we appreciate your time and interest in reliving these moments together. Let the conversations continue and the memories flow, for this is a show that will forever hold a special place in our hearts.